All right, this, this one looks pretty cute. Floppy Knights. I think I had to double check and I think I was wrong because I definitely had the first thought of like, is this by the Dicey Dungeon people? Because like the aesthetic, something about the art looks like immediately evocative. Maybe the, maybe the artist is the same one or something like that. It doesn't have to be the same game company, I suppose. I don't know. That would take more time to investigate than I'll probably spend making this, this Let's Try, so start. Hmm, yeah, I'm probably, I might be onto something, but anyway. BB, is it complete yet? Just a sec, Carlton. Robotics at this level takes some time. I have waited an entire week. It only took you a month to make me. Implementing an upgrade for me should take, like, 30 minutes maximum. 30 minutes? Are your math processes broken? Relax, almost there. Just a few more screws and then... Knock, knock. That must be your parents. I bet they want to know what's taking so long, too. Oh, jeez. BB, your mother and I wanted to talk. About how I need to get a job and move out, I know. You've told me like a million times. It's just that you've been shut up here, tinkering away all, the, all this stuff for so long. We're worried about you, honey. You need to get out there and enjoy life. I think she's enjoying her life right now, honestly. Take on some responsibility. Get a job. Those are not the same thing as what you said a minute ago. It'll be great for you. I don't like how you conflated enjoying life and getting a job. You might even make a few friends. I have friends, Mom. I have Carlton. Yes, but honey, you built Carlton. No offense, dear. I mean, it's true. That's not what... It, you should have friends you didn't build. None taken. Listen, I'm working on this thing. It'll help Carlton and make me some quick cash, so I won't have to get at some boring job. You know, having responsibilities and people that depend on you isn't a bad thing. Carlton depends on her. And also, you don't need to have a job if you can find other ways to make money. Even though that other way is still a job, you're just not working for somebody else. Look at me, I do all the smithing for all of Toggletown. And everyone loves her for it. We're all re we're always inundated with thank you cakes. We had to get a second fridge. Baby, we're really proud of how talented you are with this technology stuff, but if this plan of yours doesn't work, you have to go work as a blacksmith with your mother, at least until you find something more stable. Fine, this'll work though. Just give me a couple more days. All right, a couple days. We'll leave you to it, honey. Now that that's over with, ready to see your new upgrade, Carlton? Affirmative. Is that a floppy disk? Yep, I installed a new drive for you to read these now. Wow, that is amazing. What does this floppy disk do? You're about to find out. I put a very special program on this one. Ooh, can I test it out? All right. Amazing. Just look at this little guy. I call them floppy knights. Nah, there's the title. They're projections, but they're tangible. They can touch things, grab stuff, and in this one's case, kick my tools. Wow. Ha ha ha, he's such a rascal. It's truly impressive, Phoebe. Thanks, and the best part is they'll do whatever we want. I've made a bunch of them, and I was thinking they could help us take on odd jobs in the town's job board. We show up, get the floppy nice to do the heavy lifting, and then we get paid. Exactly, we'll barely have to lift a finger. You've completed this just in time for the science fair, too. Uh-huh. I've got my eye on that first place cash prize in the gadget cup. Oh, there's a gadget cup. I was gonna say, a science fair isn't about inventing things, it's about testing a hypothesis. And that hypothesis is not, I can invent something. <laughs> that is the tournament where they hold the, at, they hold at the fair every year, correct? Right, and this year I'm finally old enough to compete. While we're waiting for the fair, let's take these floppy knights for a spin. I'll show you the ropes, Carlton. I'm ready when you are. Alright, let's go over the basics, Carlton. Loading training simulation. You don't need to say loading training simulation for it to work, you know. Correct. However, it is important to have fun while you work. Ha! Huh, fair point. 
Oh my god, there's uh, there's so many promising looking indie games. I'm so fucking overwhelmed. How do you ever get around all of them? It's cool that they exist. Okay, so I'm going to have us fight against this succulent sticker for practice. Stuff like this is kind of why I get a little stir crazy when a game like Hades, what this, which is very good, is like a hundred hours long or something, because you're like, but there's so many other indie games I could be playing, and I'm like, mm. Like, it's cool, but also these other ones I'm not getting to. So we're gonna start by fighting our own thing. That small and passion leafy guy over there. Yep, we're gonna fight with him. Uh, we're gonna, f we're fighting with another floppy knight I made. Is it down here? Captain Thistle. This is our commander. They're a very special unit. She's really figured this all out, apparently, having never used them before. Unlike other units, if their health trees is zero, that we lose. These are the unit's abilities. They've activated after you play them. When you play a unit, a new special card is generated right into your hand. Captain Thistle adds a rare Thorns card. These are the unit's stash. Uh, health, strength, speed. Thorns. Unit gains plus one strength and destroy. So it's a it's a tactics grid and it's a card game. Like the mate like the labyrinth arc of Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> I, I made a physical board to play with that. I uh, I, pl I played very little Yu-Gi-Oh! ever, but I collected the cards and I and I I liked the uh, the labyrinth arc, which is I think the first episode I actually saw. So I made a, a, gr a grid that where all the tiles were card-shaped and then drew hard lines throughout it that would be like the maze walls. And then you could move any card by the number of stars that the the uh, unit had per turn. It was very homebrew, but it was just kind of a fun idea. Used like a poster board. Each turn we draw five cards from our deck that can be placed by spending energy. We also have this one that was generated. They have limited energy. I'm going a little fast because it's a lot of description and we only have so much time. Okay, so they want us to move to get him closer. Click on him, then click up here. There we go. One attack per turn. There we go. My Thorns card! Yeah, they didn't tell me to use the Thorns card. You're re reading out the, there's an excessive amount of description of a, of a tutorial text, so I'm just gonna skip most of it. We did it! That was incredible. We're so powerful. Everything worked perfectly. We should try this out on a real gig. I estimate we are ready to take on a job and make some sick cash. He had little deal with the glasses. I love when you use human phrases, Carlton, as opposed to your inhuman phrases when you're speaking an alien language the rest of the time. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Bandits. There's just bandits in your world? Your parents are sending you out to get a job in the world full of bandits? Like, these aren't your summons, right? These are just things that exist outside. A little worrying, isn't it? <clears throat> Captain Thistle. So you spawn a special main unit, and if they die, you lose. But then the other guys you summon, I guess you can keep around? The number in the corner here is the enemy's health. If it's zero, they're defeated. Forest or defense bonus. These are pretty standard. Amounts have no bonus and you can't enter them at all. Okay, oh, so there's no alt altitude advantage. The plus one armor, okay. Destroy. This card is removed from the deck. So I can give him one more attack with thorns once. Do not attack yourself, Captain Thistle. There you go, right click. So four attack is pretty good. So I should be able to one-shot all of these guys, but this one I won't one-shot, so I'll probably want to use Thorns. I can heal with Restore. Ooh. 
Uh, let's upgrade a unit in the field. Oh, I didn't see the pop-ups. I just clicked on it before it had. I didn't know there was gonna be. I didn't know there was gonna be pop-ups. <laughs> let's move forward and smack them. Got him. Ooh, I should have planned ahead a little bit more because I can. I can get some more movement done. Oh, but he can only attack once per turn, right? I guess I can upgrade him. It says plus one strength and destroy. It doesn't say one strength for one turn. It just says plus one strength. All right, so that guy can attack those tiles. Oh, he can hit me. I, can, I guess I can move here to avoid getting hit. Oh, I'm out of energy. Oh, the upgrade cost three energy, didn't it? This game's cute. This guy's gonna hit me, though. Which is not cute, it's violent. I'm gonna murder him back. He didn't even hurt me, did he? Do I still have full health? No, I, I guess I had 10 a minute ago, and I was just wrong about that. And I guess I, I attacked back? Succulent Kicker gives you kick and hop. So their abilities are added to your hand. That's interesting. But I finally have a second character to use. I was gonna get a little overwhelmed there. Sup. Move or attack on the same card. Okay. But can't I just attack whenever I want to for free? Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, I have to use a move card. So this guy only has two attack, which is not great, so I guess I should have attacked the other guy. Attack an enemy with a knockback. Hop. So I can do a little free energy move- so this guy can move for free in addition to his normal movement. But then the, the ability goes away. Hmm. I misallocated my resources. So I, I can't just hit you, right? No. Oh, payback. Enemies receive one damage when attacking this unit. I have nothing. I'm useless. I'm not going to kill anyone this turn, so maybe I want to just retreat a bit. Honestly, this character just doesn't get much done, I guess. I guess he just have to attack one guy twice. But I, I, I'm too reflexively trying to keep him alive, I guess. Now I'm gonna get double teamed, which is bad. But now he can finish that guy, at least. Now you're gonna get it, buddy. I just high-kicked him for great justice. And one shot. Because we upgraded his attack earlier. So no one needs a heal, and all these other items are kind of useless too. And this guy's gonna cut- yeah, let's just stay put, because he'll come to us. If I move, he'll be able to hit me first. Oh, I could have healed you, because you- yeah. You've taken plenty of damage. Upgrade a unit. A unit? At an additional payback, does it, does it also heal you? Okay, so the pop-up was was just explaining the, the uh, upgrade. This person's already fully upgraded, so you can't do it again. So payback is what I gained. This makes me go from kick and hop to kick plus and hop plus. The better versions of those cards. Sup? You ready to die? Goodbye! There it goes. New cards. Spitunia. 
ranged poison attacks. All right. What do we got down here? We can add cards to our deck. So there's the Succulent Kicker. These ones can't be removed because these are like the basic ones we draw all the time. So there's the move or attack ones and so. Move unit and and reap. What? Wait, am I destroying it? No, I don't want to destroy it. Oh no, it's explaining the destroy effect. I want to expl I want you to explain the reap effect. What is reap? I can't highlight it. So I don't know how to check. Oh well. To win this battle, destroy the goblin satellite. Sometimes we can bring a ba win a battle by completing other objectives. You mean we don't have to defeat every enemy? Nope. We can check our objectives anytime. Okay. Enemy spawner. Ooh. There's an enemy spawner and an objective this time. Yeah, maybe I'm imagining it, but I do feel like this is an artist I've seen before. Which would not be that surprising, because I, like, for example, like, uh, was it Jeremy Jacinto worked on, like, the, the Western Deep video game, A Ghost, uh, Ghost of a Tale, uh, Armello, and Tooth and Tail, which I think I've played three of those already, and they're all the, they're the same artist who worked on all three of those games. So some, some people just get around. Add thorns. Let's see. So you're my special leader and I have to keep you alive. Then the real game starts and I can summon a bunch of random dudes. And they're much less mandatory. So we need to destroy that thing and they're gonna spawn a new enemy each turn, which is gonna be some problems. He's in a forest, so he's harder to kill. Hmm. Upgrade a card? Oh, it just upgrades thorns to cost less energy. I wanted to make it stronger. This adds reap plus, which I still don't know what a reap does, so that's a little unhelpful. Hop plus. Oh, it gets rid of destroy. That's kind of neat. Can I go back though and upgrade a unit? Yeah, that adds payback. Just kind of makes sense to upgrade your commander if them dying kills you. What is... What is reap? I don't know. Reap. Attack an enemy, add so. Okay. But I can also just attack automatically, for free. So I guess, is the idea that I can use Reap to, to do another attack? Okay, so a unit attacks once on their own per turn, but then you can just Reap and, reap and so lets me do an extra move and a different, an extra attack. Which is definitely helpful. And with the power of hop, I can move this character without spending uh, any energy. Because I'm all out of movement energy, but I just be like, yep, here we go. Payback. It's not very strong. Ooh. By the cre is that the is that the creature spawner? Do I do I def does defeating that person make the let's see. Is it WASD the camera? Yeah, okay. Ability, knockback attacks, plus one knockback. 
hop bop, hop bopper. I don't think I think they're just defending the creature spawner, but they aren't necessarily the creature spawner. Let's see, you have only four attack because I didn't end up. Yeah, I didn't get. I didn't use the. Hmm. Uh, I didn't use thorns, and everything in your hand gets discarded every turn. I gotta remember that. You get in big trouble if you don't take advantage. Alright, so the two of us can kill him together. You, do you have a t Okay, you don't, you don't fight back. Perfect. Alright, so I have four energy, so I can use the move card to get you down here. Then I can use the attack card to get my first attack in. But that is the best we can do for now. So I can use you to block? Unless they, they can just go that way, though. An attempt is made. <laughs> It'd be pretty hard for them to stop me. Oh no! He got super murdered. <laughs> I should actually double check the objective, which I never looked at. Hey, full shuffle. You destroy the satellite. Win in five turns or less for a, a bonus reward. Play this card to destroy it. Waste. Oh. When a friendly unit's defeated, I get a shitty card that wa that wastes my hand. So I'll keep drawing that. Like if it'll go into the graveyard because it doesn't say anything about not going in the graveyard, but it'll keep getting drawn over and over again and wasting part of my hand until I spend the whole energy getting rid of it. So there's, there's a, a very clear penalty for losing a unit, but I win. Now you guys don't have any TV, which means you're defeated. Haha, -ha. losers. We did it. And I got another cactus. Shop is open. Go buy yourself some new cards. Welcome. I got cards, you got big coin. Let's make a deal. Alright. Can I see what they are? Oh yes, thorns. Tree folk rock. Tree tree folk rock. Ha! That's plus two maximum health, I believe. Yeah. All right, well, this is neat. This is neat. If you want to check this game out and be aware of when it comes out and all that, go ahead and wishlist it. See you guys next time. Hey guys, this Let's Try and the ones around it were recorded during the Steam Game Festival that ran from February 3rd to February 9th, during which a bunch of indie games had publicly available limited time demos. So if I seem a little bit like I'm in a hurry and these videos are a little short, it's because I'm trying to cover as many games as I can in only a few days. But uh, hey, and if you, by the time you get these videos out, the demos might not be available anymore, but if you like what you see, you can go to click the link in the description and go to the store page for each game, and you can hit add it to your wishlist, and you'll be notified when it comes out.